Welcome to the first Project Pointy End devlog with a voiceover. I'm Kennedy, the developer, and I'm here to explain the core system, what makes it new, and why it's so expandable. When you hit something with the spear, the spear gets stuck, and you start a grapple. I haven't found a game I can compare this mechanic to. As far as I can tell, what you're looking at is new. Obviously, just being new isn't enough. It has to be deep, and it has to be fun. So, why does this meet those criteria? Choices. Let's start with what happens after our grapple. You can shove your spear in deeper to deal more damage. You can pull it free to defend yourself with. You can leverage the spear to push an enemy into a corner or into a hazard. You can kick an enemy into another enemy to deal damage to each. If you don't have time to get the spear free, you can dodge, leaving it behind, and then regroup with it later. The depth only expands with enemy design. This extremely basic bug has an easily accessible weak point on the front, two claws that break off a bit, and a hard-to-reach weak point that, if you stab the spear in deep enough, instantly kills the bug. You can break off a claw and kick it into the bug's face. You can dodge its charge and get it in the back. You can stab it in one weak point and force its other into spikes. Then we get variants. The orange one explodes when hit in the back, punishing you if you just stab it, but giving opportunities to cause friendly fire with a well-timed throw. The yellow one leaves a trail of slowing slime when grappled, making it harder to impale or shove. The black and purple variants punish you if you kill them by raw damage instead of with that instant kill. This pink one lobs projectiles as it charges, making it more dangerous to attack immediately after it finishes its own attack. There's also this light blue one, but it doesn't really add to any of this. You don't have to worry about that one. Now, this is all very quickly and cheaply put together to give some semblance of variety even using the same behaviors. Some of the other test enemies, which sadly didn't make it in time for the pitch demo, further underline the point. This little lizard thing grabs your spear and runs away with it. This giant crab disarms you with its sword. This telekinetic porcupine has a projectile that causes a grapple between your spear and the ground. None of this is groundbreaking, but it expands the way the player confronts these situations, and it all interacts in unique ways with the core mechanics. They have depth already, and room to grow. Now, as for fun, well, it's subjective. But in my book, knocking an enemy into the spikes by vaulting over another enemy's attack, then recalling the spear and stabbing it in their butt, or pinning an enemy to the wall so they can't escape as you grab and turn a giant flamethrower on them, it just isn't something you get to do in a lot of games. I want to be clear. What you're seeing here is not nearly finished. This is a prototype of a demo of maybe a third of the mechanics of the game I'm trying to make. But hopefully it's enough to prove the concept and get you as excited by the possibilities as I am.